tell you because it's been like a couple weeks. I've done I was last in Mexico. I did a week, um, a weekend in my life that was really fun. Honestly, that was like one of my favorite vlogs um, in the past couple of months. So I'm just moving you guys so that you can't hear my coffee machine while it's going. But it is Monday morning. We got back from Mexico last Wednesday. I worked Thursday, Friday, and then I have been off. So I have like a three day off stretch. So I go back to work tomorrow and then I'll be back on like my normal schedule. But we had such a good time in Mexico. I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. It was hard to like catch everything and I felt like I didn't vlog a ton because literally all you do at an inclusive resort is eat, lay by the pool, maybe lay by the beach, um, and then eat again. <laughs> it like um but it was so fun like we had the best time just relaxing i got so much sleep and the weather was like perfect anyway we stayed at the excellence in Playa Mujeres i feel like i'm saying that wrong whenever i say it so i'm sorry if i'm like butchering the name but it has been nice to be home um and seth has gotten sick so hopefully i'm not going to get sick i think he has some type of virus but we haven't tested him for anything so we've just really been home all weekend um i went out and grabbed coffees yesterday and cleaned my car that's literally the only time i've been out of the house this weekend besides like workout classes and going to the gym so today isn't going to be much different I am going to go to the gym today. Uh, I did a bunch of social media work yesterday, so I'm pretty caught up on that. I do want to film my next like how to diagnose and treat for YouTube, so we might do that today, and I'm thinking it's going to be anemia, so I like to do a little bit of back work beforehand, just write down everything that I want to say, points that I want to make, things that I want to go over, so possibly gonna do that today and then i'm actually gonna be on a podcast today i've never been on a podcast before but um i'm recording that at 7 p.m it's gonna be virtual but it's for auto health and it's gonna be all about being a nurse practitioner like doing social media and being an np um like my the glow bar my botox business how we came to that like it's gonna cover a lot of things so i uh, I'm hoping it goes well. I'm a little bit nervous, but it should be fun. So I will link that episode below if everything goes through. I need to confirm it because I haven't heard from them in a couple of weeks, to be honest. Um, but anyway, I'm supposed to be doing that, but that's not until this evening. And then I think I want to go to the gym today. So that is really the plan for the day. It's going to be a chill day. I'm making myself a cup of coffee. And I think we're just going to sit outside and maybe like watch a YouTube video for a second. Hey, welcome to the vlog. I'm so excited to be doing another week in my life. I think it's gonna be maybe more like a few days because I've said this a ton, it's so hard to film like a full week in my life as an NP because it feels like the same, like, oh, hey, I'm going to work. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm home, this is what I'm making for dinner. But anyway, it's gonna be a few days. This is my favorite coffee creamer, Nut Pods, um, when I'm just making regular coffee and I like the unsweetened ones. My favorite is the cinnamon roll. And I get this from Thrive Market. Uh, this video is not sponsored, but I do have a code with them. I believe it's April. Mm, I'll put it on the screen. I think it might be April 30. You get 30% off your first order. It's the spot. Okay, who's your right now? It's not like He's obsessed with birds. Hi, sweetie. Why do you have a cough, honey? This is breakfast. I like already <laughs> mixed it all up so it looks gross, but it is. Let me show you what it is. It is silk almond milk yogurt. I usually like to buy the Greek one, but I have this here from somebody like being here and I wanted to use it up so it didn't go to waste. So the Greek one of this has like 10 grams of protein, whereas this one only has six. I'm not like somebody who really looks at all of that stuff, but I like the Greek one better. And because it didn't have a lot of protein, I added this to it, which this is literally my absolute favorite protein powder. It's 
Last Protein from EHP Labs. It's the Chalk Coconut flavor. They are an Australian based company and I really like it. I didn't do a full scoop. I probably did like a fourth of a scoop because I don't want it to taste like complete protein, but this is so good. And I am actually one of their athletes now, which is insane. Um, so more to come on that, but I think it's starting next month. All right, this is the gym fit. I'm just heading out. This whole collection, I'm just about to show you, you can't really see it, is from um, White Fox Sarah's Day Drop, and they're my like favorite leggings, and I just got this little shirt too, so let's go to the gym. Workout is done. I had a really good workout. I love going to the gym on days that I'm not working because when I'm working, I'm so incredibly grateful that I have like a long lunch time and can go to the gym because that is like one of the main reasons why I don't ever think about looking for other jobs, <laughs> you know, cause like you have hard days and you're like, okay, this isn't like, I need to look for something else. It could be better somewhere else. But I'm like, no, I get a two hour lunch break and I don't have to go to the gym when it's packed at five o'clock and everybody's there. Hey, that is you? such a deal breaker for me. So I'm super grateful that I get to go on my days at work, but my workout is always like, you know, I'm a bit rushed because I'm trying to get back. And so days when I am, not in the gym um I mean not at work I love going because I can really like enjoy it and take my time and I don't know just you know have myself a good time I filmed it for TikTok I am just gonna insert a clip here because I've been enjoying like showing my workouts more and I feel like you know there is a select group of people who do really enjoy that I'm not saying you have to follow my workout plan or anything like that I my workout plan is I do two days of legs a week and I do two upper body days. So the two days of legs are split into quads and calves and then a hamstring heavy day. And then I do um, like a back and biceps day and a shoulders, chest and tricep day. And that's like my workout split. <laughs> just drop my planner off there what a day it has been such a fun day I'm just going to turn on a light excuse my appearance like my hair right now I just took a shower so you gotta throw your hair up you know when you shower but anyway oh, that light is gonna no it's okay um, I just grabbed a little unreal coconut I don't really know what these are called dark chocolate coconut bar um, I get this one, we get the Snickers one, we get the dark chocolate Reese's one, and I always get them from Thrive Market, which I don't know if I already said. I feel like I've already plugged Thrive Market a few times in this video. This video is not sponsored by them. I just genuinely use their services, but we have a bunch right now, so I'm about to eat one of those. It is probably almost nine o'clock, and after you guys saw me after the gym, I went to Publix, I grabbed groceries, and then came home, did a bunch of like social media work. I filmed some TikToks for the Glow Bar, I filmed some TikToks for me, I edited some TikToks, I made an appointment with a financial advisor. That's something that was one of my goals for 2024 is Seth and I, we wanna buy another house in the next year and but we want to keep our house currently so we need to talk about like setting savings goals which you guys know we're also like traveling every month this year and we're just figuring all of that stuff out as we go so i set up an appointment for that and then i had a podcast tonight this is my first ever podcast that i have ever been on and it was with auto health otto I, the episode is not out i don't think when you guys are watching this but i will let you know when it is out 
and it was a virtual podcast but it was so much fun i loved it i've never been on a podcast before i was really nervous and it was basically like 45 minutes of talking about myself and them hyping me up <laughs> so that was fun um but they were super nice and um we really just talked about my nursing journey my nurse practitioner journey social media um, being on social media as a nurse practitioner starting my own business etc all of that fun stuff so it was a packed episode, so I'll definitely, definitely let you guys know when it's out. But now it's time for me to rest. I'm having a poppy, and I'm having an unreal coconut bar. And we're gonna see what's out on Netflix. I feel like nothing is out to watch right now. I've just had a great day, great day. Good morning, you guys. From the same spot that I left you last night, my sweet sleeping angels angel one is always right beside me and angel two my sweet boy the sweetest anyway it's like 7 30 in the morning it's been darker obviously outside since the time change so waking up in the morning has been very hard for me uh for the past week just been taking it slower easier um i always like sit on the couch for like 10 15 minutes and do um, my five minute journal and my devotional in the morning and sit in my coffee so we're just wrapping that up i put in my unicorn corn curls last night so i want to show you guys me taking them out and what they look like too um but yeah i'm just gonna have a good day hopefully it's so funny i remember something right i was going right as I was going to bed last night there was a patient that oh, it's been almost two weeks now that I needed to research something about and I told them I would call them at the end of last week and I totally forgot about it um I usually write stuff like that down and I felt like I did write it down but I don't know where it is because it's not on my desk um so I like thought about that at 11 o'clock last night I was as I was trying to fall asleep so I need to do that this morning so we're gonna get ready go to work and have a good day hi you guys i have been i have been the worst vlogger the past couple of days um i think yesterday i filmed a clip of like what i like to do in the morning and then i totally forgot i was vlogging to be honest so it's now wednesday evening i just finished my second day in clinic so i am thankful for that it's so nice to have the sun up in the evening but you guys the time change has been killing me like going I want to fall asleep first of all at like 9 p.m. and then I physically like it is so hard to get up in the morning typically we have like a bathroom in our room that has a window and we keep that blind open so in the mornings we have sunlight coming into our room and it kind of helps wake me up naturally but now that the um, now that it's dark outside when I wake up I've been struggling so hard when my alarm goes off this morning I was like there is no way that it is already 7 a.m. and I wake like 7 a.m. is not early to get up but anyway it was a really great day in clinic today it was one of my students last day and it like is always bittersweet when that happens because first of all my, that student is incredible and I really don't have to do much <laughs> with them because he, he has improved so much and he knows how I like to write my notes and he knows like what I'm going to do he'll be like oh yeah so I figured you'd increase this medication I already told the patient but like you know just verifying it and obviously like I still go in and talk with the patient but it's like everything's done for me I just have to sign the note and code it and bill it and it's amazing but today was the last day so he will be missed it is technically my one year anniversary as a primary care NP I can't believe that I I didn't know that they just announced it during the meeting today that it had been a year um, my boss bought me some stuff that I'll show you guys when I get home and then I have another little package that I want to show you guys I ordered a watch on Etsy I've been looking for like a cute vintage watch and I'm hoping that I like this one so um, yeah we're just on our way home and I'll show you guys some fun stuff when I get there I told you I got a like a vintage watch from Etsy oh nice from I can't I can't tell I love you oh I love you 
What is the brand? Thank you and love. The brand is Beyond. Beyond. Ooh, what do you think it will, it will look like? I think it will look very petite. Mm -hmm. The white face. Um, and gold. Probably like some small wings. So I'm envisioning. Cute. And what I thought was super cute about it is it kind of looks like a. This is supposed to be on this side. So like that's with it, like that. Like a little chain. Hmm. The thing that I'm the most concerned about with it is, and I probably won't use it regularly, but like telling the time. <laughs> but there's... <laughs> you're not telling the time on it, you're using your watch. I mean your phone, you're not. Yeah, well there's no, well there is little, there's little ones, like little ones. There is, but oh, they're yeah. so small. Yeah, you can see that. But it's really cute. So cute. Got some flowers from work today for my one year anniversary. A Chipotle gift card and some lemon Pellegrino. Very sweet. All right, you guys, good morning. Happy Thursday. It's so hard to leave the babies in the morning. Okay. They're both eating breakfast, but they both look at me as if I'm committing a crime by leaving the house. And I think that I am. Like, look at that. Makes me so sad, but I gotta go, baby. Mommy's gotta work. I love you. I'll see you tonight. Anyway, it's Thursday. I headed to my other office this morning. Sorry, this is such a close-up angle. Not cute. Coffee I didn't finish this morning. Got my gym bag. Seth already left for work. And I have my lunch. Seth never leaves for work before me, but he has got a big decision that he has to make today that has been weighing on his mind. So, it's for work, but. Um, so, he left. We're gonna put on some of the toast. Um, a recommendation I have for you guys, if you don't listen to the toast, it used to be the morning toast. It is a daily podcast. It's my favorite podcast ever. I listen to it every morning. The girls are so funny and they just make my commute so much better. So we're gonna go to work. All right, you guys, I am at the gym, getting ready to go inside, but I have been like, I've been taking some supplements lately just to help with me. not sick or anything um, but I just feel like I could improve my overall like energy levels and so I've been using a reds powder before my workout it basically just has like a bunch of reds and it has beets apple things like that um, but it's obviously like in powder form so I'm a huge proponent for like eating your greens and vegetable your greens and you know your fruits and stuff but I'll be honest I just I have a hard time like eating throughout my day so I do eat I try to eat like a little breakfast I try to have snacks I try to have like a little lunch but I'm not I don't want to say I'm not a huge eater because like I eat a lot but I eat mostly in the evening and I just don't like it's hard to get all of your ingredients in in the evening so I'm just working with my lifestyle right now and um, incorporating a reds powder I am incorporating like a protein um supplement into my diet as well and all of them are from EHP labs I'm actually um, gonna be partnered with them in the next upcoming month so I'm really excited about that so I'll have like a discount code and stuff if you guys are interested and want to use them um, because I'm gonna be one of their athletes which is so exciting but um, we're gonna go in get in a workout I think it's gonna be like back and biceps today I'm I'm my energy levels are like here which is why I'm doing this reds powder right now too but I just have like uh, I have a hard day of patience today so it's fine we're gonna get through it and we're gonna be thriving um but I just need to get a workout I need to like lift up my spirits because I'm kind of like in the dumps right now <laughs> 